Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, this is your reading for the month of May. You may consider this as a mid-month reading, okay? And uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid, okay? Also Scorpio, uh, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. I would request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Scorpio, I've started with extended readings and uh, uh, if you're interested in the same, if you uh, are excited to know what your person is thinking and feeling about you, what are their innermost thoughts and feelings about you. Uh, what action they intend to take towards you, what is the likely conclusion of the given situation, you can uh, go ahead and you can check out the extended reading. The link for the extended reading has been provided in the description box. The link for the extended reading has been provided in the comments section. Okay. And uh, uh, you can click on that uh, reading and it will lead you to the extended reading on Vimeo. Make sure you follow me on Vimeo just the way you follow me on YouTube. Okay. Also, uh, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will be the they will be the mutual they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person thereafter i'm going to pull out some cards from another tarot deck and we'll see what are the general messages for you and your person later on i'll pull out some oracle cards and we'll see what are the messages from the higher powers what are the messages from the universe at the uh, then i have added a new segment to this reading which is about a new person coming towards you and uh, we'll see who is this new person coming towards you we'll describe them we'll also describe the kind of relationship you'll have with them okay at the very end we'll wind up this reading by pulling out some love notes and with the help of love notes we'll see uh what your person was thinking and feeling about you especially during period of separation okay so scorpio let's get started make sure you see the reading watch the reading till the end because there are many messages that keep on popping up and i don't want you to miss any kind of messages so we have knight of cups we have three of cups three of swords then we have the lovers then we have the tower queen of swords mutual energy is the star and the strength <clears throat> Scorpio, we have four major arcanas. So you may be dealing with a Gemini, you may be dealing with Aquarius, you may be dealing with Leo, another Scorpio, Aries. Okay, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A strong presence of water and air. Okay. Hmm. So Scorpio. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups and three of swords number three is of some importance you may be seeing a lot of three 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 i see a strong energy where you want scorpio that your person should come back to you at least to apologize you okay this is this is what is your wishful thinking this is what you want to happen uh, although you know that this person hurt you a lot and if you get back with them you cannot deny the possibility of hurting yourself again but still I feel that irrespective of all the odds, irrespective of the risks that you are aware of, you somehow I feel that you want this person back. And if not back, you at least want an apology from them. You feel that there is a strong feeling that you have contributed a lot to this person's life and you at least owe this much. So these are your cards, Scorpio. Okay. You know that you have contributed a lot to their life. 
and you are thinking that you deserve an apology you deserve they coming back and trying to rectify a situation which is which has gone wrong i also feel that somehow i feel that you want to though you are heartbroken from inside maybe on the social media you are trying to show that you are very happy and you don't care about what happened happened between you and them sort of you want to make them jealous that's the kind of an energy i'm getting okay if if this is not the case consider it as vice versa your person may be putting photographs on the social media to make you jealous or something like that okay as far as your person is concerned we have the lovers the tower and the queen of swords so scorpio undeniably there is a lot of love okay there is a lot of love in fact the love was so much in the situation the love is still there that it sort of consumed both of you okay a breakdown had to happen because other areas were getting ignored or the intensity of this love was too much for them to handle okay they got scared of your intense love for them they were like i couldn't handle such an intense love first of all they never experienced such kind of a love with anyone else okay they didn't experience this uh, intense and passionate love with ex- uh, with anyone else and the kind of intensity and the kind of passion you brought in this connection they loved it but later on they started getting scared of it okay and what happened probably they become addicted to your love okay this person became addicted to your love and it was it may have happened with that love card i feel that there was a distance between you and this person or then this pandemic happened and it wasn't uh, easy like you know meeting one another wasn't easy anymore okay or if there was you both of you were staying in two different countries Uh, meeting as frequently as both of you wanted wasn't possible and the kind of fire you created inside them they had to douse off that fire and because of this ongoing pandemic or because of the uh, physical distance between you and them or whatever uh, whatsoever reasons they couldn't come towards you they couldn't douse off that fire inside them and that's thus they started finding other people to you know to to calm down that fire and inside uh, that uh, to calm the, down that fire and passion inside them that you had triggered okay so what i see is that they they may have lied and cheated to you and that made you so angry of course anyone would be angry scorpio of course anyone would be angry okay it is completely understandable and uh, of course you walked away from the situation you are no more a part of this <laughs> but there is lot of love scorpio you love them they love you okay and they want your forgiveness they clearly want your forgiveness they are also aware as to uh, the kind of reaction you may give to them but i don't think so that is going to stop them from coming towards you with the star card and the strength i feel that they really want to accept whatever they did to you they really want to uh, they want you to control them <laughs> they want you to control them they are ready to sacrifice uh, anything and anyone for this relationship but they want you okay and you also want them you want them to come towards you in that manner that's how you're manifesting their come back that they should come back towards you and they should surrender to you that's how you want them to come back and that's how they are coming back scorpio that's how they are coming back 
Wow, this is so intense, Scorpio. Oh my God. I'm I'm literally getting some goosebumps. This was really intense. Hmm. So, Scorpio, if you really want to know what are their innermost desires, innermost feelings for you, what they think and feel about you, uh, what action they want to take towards you and towards this connection, what uh, or what is the likely conclusion of the situation, if you're excited to know all these things, you can check out the extended reading. The link for the extended has been provided in the comments section. It has also been provided in the description box. You can check that out. I also provide advice on love, life, uh, then money and career. Okay, so make sure with whether on YouTube, whether on uh, whether on Vimeo, uh, whichever reading you are watching, YouTube or extended, make sure you watch the reading uh, entirely. Okay, because there are so many messages that keep on popping up, and I really don't want any one of you to miss those messages. Okay, it is very important to watch the reading throughout. And don't miss the messages at all. Please. Don't miss the messages. They are very important. So we have five of swords. The devil. And nine of pentacles. Then ten of swords. Hermit. Seven of pentacles. This person has. If there was a third party. They have left that. They didn't had any choice. Because you are strongly manifesting them. And they are strongly attracted towards you. And they know that. This is what they want. Okay, as far as you are concerned, somehow I'm getting an obsessive energy over your Scorpio. Okay, with the devil card as well. And even before getting in the devil card, I got that energy, a bit of obsessive energy. You're overthinking about this person. You're overthinking about this situation. Though you are single, you're trying to show you're, you're doing good in one area of your life. When it comes to your career, your profession, you're doing good. You're also enjoying your singlehood, but... I see that there is an another element of obsessive tendencies over here. You are obsessively thinking about them. There is a bit of anger as well around what they did to you. Okay. Professionally, I see you are doing good, Scorpio. So let's see. Uh, what are the messages from higher powers? Financial constraints. Healer of the ages. Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel and Magician and the Mirror and we have is the Happy Family. So if there were any financial concerns with the Nine of Pentacles and Healer of the Ages, the situation is going to get healed. Financial conditions are going to improve for you. Okay, Seven Chakra Obsessive Thinking. Seven Chakra is your Crown Chakra. I told you, right? Exactly. That's what I was telling you. Seven Chakra is your Crown Chakra on the top of your head. And that is blocked right now because you are thinking obsessively about this person or obsessively about the situation. Other areas of your life are getting imbalanced. Even if you have to take a decision about this person or this situation, you need some rational thinking, which you are not able to do because of your, your headspace is crowded, my dear Scorpios. Your headspace is crowded. You need to heal that. Stop overthinking. Okay. Your brains are tired right now. Magician and the mirror, you are a, a magician. You can manifest what you want. You don't have to like literally think so obsessively. Okay, you are a magician. You have those magical powers within you to manifest what you want in your life. Also, I see romantic life is, uh, you know, it's going to settle down pretty soon. Let's see what are the messages from the higher powers. Let's see what are the messages from the higher powers. And... And also the universe. Sometimes the good is hidden so that you know you don't just focus on the end goal. You also focus on the journey. That you have options is meaningful and rock on. Whosoever wants to move on, if you have options, fine. Time for love fest. Love is happening. I told you love is happening. You have got time. Use your time productively. If they loved you once, they still do. They still do. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's check out who is the new person that is coming towards you, Scorpio. Let's see who is this new person that is coming towards you. Who is the new person that is coming towards you? We have Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel. We have the World. And we have Knight of Swords. And we have King of Wands. We have Queen of Cups. We have Empress. Wow. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. And Six of Cups. A past life soulmate emerging this lifetime again. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. So first of all, I'm getting Scorpio that you know before you end up with this past life soulmate, there will be some temporary relationships that will happen in your life. Okay. And uh, you will get into these temporary relationships uh, because you want to forget your past. Okay. So you'll you'll get into this relationship because you want a transition girlfriend or a boyfriend. Okay. A transition girlfriend or a transition boyfriend is a concept where you, know, you jump into next relationship only to forget the past. Okay. And not like not because you really want something out of that relationship. So some, I see that there are some quicky, quicky relationships that will happen, like one or two relationships before you get into this solid relationship with this person. Okay. Uh, I see that you'll meet this new person through work, most likely through work or when you are traveling. Okay. This new person is, this person is very energetic, very, very energetic, very energetic, very passionate. And this person will not be scared by your, will not get scared by your passion. Okay. The kind of burning passion you have inside you, they will, your passion and their passion will get matched equally. And finally you will be like, oh, thank God. Like finally I'm finding someone who can match my passion. Okay. And I see that this is going to lead to pregnancy quite, uh, pretty quickly. For some of you, this may also, uh, you know, you may also get married to this person. But I see that pregnancy may happen before marriage. Okay. Uh, this will be a strong relationship. This will be a very strong relationship. And you'll keep your bonding alive and strong through majority. I see that your sex is going to be something that is going to be a healing factor for both of you. Sex will help heal both of you. Sex will bring that required strong bonding, strong... Like, for you, sex is going to work like a magic for you and your and this new person. Okay? Like, if at all there will be any sort of fights and all that, like, you'll forget about those fights once you get into SEX. Okay? And uh, that is one of the reasons I foresee you, you are getting pregnant pretty soon if you're a female watching this. Okay, love is, love is not going to, uh, like, love will know no boundaries. I see that this person, both of you may come from different backgrounds, maybe different religions or different, uh, different cultures or different uh, countries. Okay, but how much ever unconventional this relationship may be, it's not going to make any kind of difference to you or this person. Like, once you fall in love, both of you are going to fall so deeply in love with one another. Like, what society says, what your friends, what your family says, nothing will bother to you. Nothing, nothing will matter. Okay. This person, I see that this person is someone who is very charming personality. Okay. So they usually keep on attracting a lot of opposite sex. And once people will be very much envious of the kind of chemistry both of you will have. Like, like people will be extremely jealous, extremely envious. And then there will be some, someone's either your ex or either their ex will keep on popping up intermittently. And both of you will deal with that situation very nicely in a very understanding manner. But just I'm trying to tell you some, you know, what, what can you expect? But otherwise I see this is a very nice relationship and kids will happen. Like both of you will have the special uh, love towards pets. You will have, you come across as very sporty person, like, you know, adventurous person. You may love uh love to go on road trips you will love to go on um, you know long drive night drives you will love to go on hiking and trekking you may like to have your own home far away from the hustle and bustle of the city okay so uh, somewhere in a secluded place where you will f uh, the, where there will be a lot of calm and peace and everything okay so let's nice like similar minds are meeting over here okay so let's see what your person thinks and feels about you especially during separation now some of the love notes may look like what they are thinking and feeling about you some of the love notes may look like what you are thinking and feeling about them so take how it resonates okay uh 
uh, how you wrap your arms around me and how that makes me feel secure your nose is the cutest thing in the world you can make me better uh, when I am feeling down if I had a choice of being with anyone in the world I would still choose you uh, you laugh at my jokes even when they are not funny you're the first person to I tell when things are good or bad you compliment me you give amazing hugs we are a perfect match your voice resonates deeply in my soul you accept and respect my limitation you take care of me and stay by my side when I'm ill you love me like no one else I, I learn something new from you every day all right i hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye